Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a while since you've been on King Fab and Off-Road probably because you haven't seen me popping up. No big deal. Uh, I took a little hiatus because had a lot of work going on. We got rid of Goldie and uh, well, it was still cold out. Um, so we hadn't been doing any wheeling uh, in the Razor, which is what we got now. And uh, anyways, well, here we are. The catch to what I just said though, is uh, I've had the razor out three times now. Don't get me wrong, I beat the crap out of it. I use it like it's a rock crawler. These things kinda have a little bit of a persona that they can do that, and that is true. Uh, they do really good, especially on 35s and everything, they, they're pretty nice. But I got this thing in a pickle uh, last weekend, as a matter of fact, and turns out that the old turbo R axles aren't quite as strong as I thought. I had this right rear in a bind and that's what broke it. I was on a waterfall at our local off-road park at Flat and Nasty. But uh, anyways, we're gonna be pulling it out today. Nothing big, but just uh, reintroducing you guys back into the channel and uh, letting you know what I've been up to. I... The real reason I'm making this video though is to yes, show you this axle and get that repaired or well, taken out for now. And uh, the other part is, is to let you guys know that there's gonna be a new uh, Toyota entering the family and we're gonna be wheeling that, playing with that. So that'll be here as the video progresses. So keep up with me guys. I hope you've missed me. I miss you guys. Um, as always, the subscribers keep coming in, even though I haven't put any content out in the last couple months. Uh, I feel bad for that, but I do appreciate the support and all the kind words and the questions you guys ask. It it, it makes me want to keep doing this and uh, stick with what I'm doing. Uh, so anyways, yeah, long story short, no sappy stuff. I'm going to fix this axle and then show you the stuff at the end of the video that's coming up. Stay tuned. Well, this is what 900 horsepower looks like right here, guys. Sheared that thing right off. Never seen that ever. Just kidding. But it is unfortunate because I do believe they say that that's not covered. But man, I sure wish it was. Anyways, that's what we got for that. So that is out. I will do an update video whenever I get an axle to put back in it. Um, and see what player says. I'll let you guys know in case you're wondering and then Stay tuned here in a little bit. We're gonna be taking a little trip All right guys, so this is the next day um, The thing that I went to do uh, was actually take a trip to uh, Johnson City, Tennessee for anyone that wants to do the math on that when I was doing the video uh, that you were just watching. Uh, it was 3 p.m. yesterday. I left at about 6.30 last night, drove to Johnson City, uh, took Bluey, the trailer, and got a little something, and it is now 7.30. So I did all of that, and I am back. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what did I drive all that way, all through the night, 24 hours I've been awake, actually more than that, because I was up yesterday. What did I get? Well, wait one second and you will see. guys well that's what I did I know I promised to have something on the channel that I was gonna build and start from scratch give you another Goldie of sorts but this came up obviously a long ways away um, it was over a 10 hour trip each way for me but I found this thing uh, talked with the guy really awesome guy and he had had this uh, he traded into it and someone else had bought it. Long story short, this thing has a lot of awesome parts. 
it is everything I pretty much wanted to build. Uh, it is an extended cab. I would like to have a four door, but it is a little bit unique because this is a six speed 4.0 and has super duty, uh, super 60 axles, hydro steering, king coilovers, triangulated links in the rear, three link in the front, um, anti rocks front and rear, straps, bumps, just it's got the good stuff in it. It's got good axles and the axles. It's got lockers, everything else. So this thing is virtually everything I ever wanted to build. Um, so I cheated a little bit, but I now bring to you something I'm gonna critique. There's a few things I don't like about it, some things it needs, and we're gonna be going over that obviously together. So uh, I'm hoping that you guys like this truck. I'm in love with it. It's the next generation up like I was talking about. It's I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of surprised I went and did it, um, and it's here in front of us. So tell me what you guys think. Leave some comments. Uh, let's see where we want to go. I know I want to do some graphics. It's going to need some tires in the future. Uh, we're going to be doing a transfer case setup. Um, I got to get that all figured out. We'll be doing that on the channel, etc., etc. But anyways, like I said, let me know what you think keep me posted i'll keep you posted and we're gonna start seeing this thing on the channel lots of fun thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time